Hey YouTube, in many projects I've made electrical measurements using a budget meter, an industrial meter of limited precision, and a 50 year old oscilloscope. Each of these instruments is good at making different measurements, but none of them are particularly precise, and the data has to be recorded manually. So I picked up a Mushi meter. The Mushi meter has all the features you'd expect from a multimeter. It can measure volts in ranges from 100 millivolt up to 600 volts, resistance, current, as well as thermocouples but the feature that really stands out to me is the ability to record data to an SD card. The only question I had was how precise can it be? On the display it shows measurements with up to six digits, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're all useful. To investigate this, I hooked up the Mushi meter to a calibrated voltage source and recorded some data, one millivolt on the 100 millivolt range and one volt on the 60 volt range. I tested one channel at a time while shorting the other to see how much noise there was with and without signal, then let it record for 10 minutes. After recording from both channels, I ended up with just over 900 points of data in a CSV file. When shorted, the noise on the 100 millivolt range was all between plus or minus 3 microvolts, but looking at the reading over time, there's a downward trend, which could have been the result of changing temperature in the unit or some other environmental change. The noise on the 1 millivolt reading is plus or minus 5 microvolts, but there is an offset of 2 microvolts from the expected reading. There is no upward or downward trend in the data over time, but there are two spikes and a dip just before I stop recording. They appear large on the graph, but represent less than one hundredth of a percent deviation from the mean value, still far more accurate than any of my existing equipment. Looking at the 60 volt range, there is something very interesting. The graph for the shorted input data looks very digital. This choppy appearance is called quantization and is the result of an analog to digital conversion whose steps are too large to measure the signal exactly. This however isn't a big problem because the steps appear to be only 20 microvolts in the 60 volt range. At 1 volt there's the same quantization and a small offset from the expected value, but neither of these will affect any reasonable measurements made with the 60 volt range. Although the interface is a little rough around the edges, the Mushi meter is more than accurate and precise enough for my needs, and having the data logging feature allowed me to confidently determine its limits. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.